Good morning, everyone. My name is Skip Farr with Hard Dollar Corporation. Uh, I'd like to look at this session as regards to scheduling and how Hard Dollar uh, impacts the schedule. Specifically, we'll be looking at Microsoft Project and relationship to Hard Dollar. Now, essentially, we will be able to take our cost items and set them up for you in Project. We will also send the day's duration to Project. Technically, what we do, we send the hours, actually, so that you may use whatever calendar you want to use in Project. It may be different than the calendar that was used in Hard Dollar. Right now, we're looking at the, our main startup screen. I'm going to go to our training job and look at a few forms. I'm going to start first with our job properties form. And in there, we have a tab that's called Schedule. And this is where you decide which schedule you want to use, Project or Primavera. Of course, in this session, we're looking specifically at Microsoft Project. So the only option here is this thing called cost item roll-up. What that means is we allow you to decide if you want to send a higher level cost item, like a superior, to the schedule instead of all the subordinates, the terminals. So if, in fact, you do decide to roll up, we need to know what duration would you like us to use because those subordinates now are not part of the schedule. So with this turned on, you can say, well, I want the longest of those subordinate items durations or we'll total them up. So if you do decide to send out rolled up cost items and you want a duration, this is the options that we have for us. I'm going to go to the uh, CBS register. And what I'm looking at is a view that we provided that basically shows the cost items and the columns that are specific to your decisions on what items you do want to send out to the schedule. Once we send your information out, the cost items out, we are dynamically connected, which means if you change cost items or add new cost items or change durations in the schedule, or excuse me, in hard dollar, they will be updated in the schedule for us. But you then may close the schedule, save it, and open it up independently. So therefore, then you can use the schedule without being connected to hard dollar. Our basic objective is to set up the data for you in a schedule to eliminate that manual and time uh, inf uh, wasted process to get a schedule started, since what you normally schedule are the cost items. So we'll set that up for you in the schedule. This column here that's called schedule is simply the one that says, which ones do I want to schedule? You can decide to roll up if you want to. These two columns, WBS element, schedule ID, are strictly information for using Primavera. This plug days over here are really the days and durations that the estimate generated when you put together your, your job. So these are the durations we will send out for you. The schedule plug days essentially allows you to change what durations you want to, in fact, send out to the schedule. You may want to use other durations. For instance, you had some cost items that were subcontracted. Well, we don't know. Hard dollar doesn't know what the durations are. So essentially, you can put a check mark and say, I want to use 10 days. So the schedule plug days allows you to override the durations that the estimate generated and what you want to use out in project. Now we do bring back some data from project. There's really only two kinds of data we will bring back. One will be the start finish dates, those six dates. I'll scroll over here so you can see them. We will bring back these dates from the schedule once you've made your connections and your logic links in this in the schedule. Also, if you do change a duration to a cost item in the schedule, we will allow you to choose. Do you want that new duration to update hard dollar? If you say yes, well, we'll have new costs. It's no different than going into hard dollar and putting a different duration so many days. Or you could say no. You don't have to send that same duration that you added in project back into hard dollar. You have the choice there to do that. Now, I've already sent this information out to project, so I'm going to open it up. And there we are. So essentially what we did, we sent out these items that you selected with their durations. 
then you had to make your logic links, which is what schedules are all about, to make your connections. And if you so choose, we can bring back the start and finish dates, all those dates that this schedule generated for us, and bring those back. Now, there's some other information that we do send out besides the cost items and the durations. You may send out costs. I have here where I've inserted a column called labor, and here's the labor cost. I'm going to right click just to show you if you say insert column. These are hard dollars data that we set up in project for you. So you can choose to have labor, equipment, rent and so forth, cost, and other data that you might want. So I've inserted this labor just to just to show you. I'm going to go back into hard dollars just for a moment. And on the forms command. This is where I first said open up MS project. If I'd made some change back on that job properties form on the schedule tab between, you know, roll up and whatnot, and if I want to send out the costs, the labor costs, equipment costs, that's what update project will do. Update hard dollar from project will bring the dates back. That's what that does. So I'm going to go back into project. I'll take my mobilization and I'll just change its duration. When I alt tab back to hard dollar, I'll see this attention box. What do you want to do? Do you want to update the estimate to stay in sync with the schedule with those that new duration I just entered or not? It's your choice. You can decide what you want to do. I'll say OK. Basically, I just changed the cost for Mo because I gave it new durations. So effectively, we're trying to help you schedule the job without having to manually set up all that stuff in the schedule first, first hand, decide what cost items you want, we'll send out pertinent information, do your schedule, bring back the dates, close the schedule down, open up independently if you like. So. We're just trying to give you more efficient ways to have the estimate in sync with the schedule. Well, that's what I wanted to cover today. I thank you for your time.